Here is the visualization of a ontology for real-time performances called Tree. And Tree is wrapping a tablet-based visual music synthesizer called Sky, uh, which has about 8,200 nodes, of which uh, we see the top over here. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit with the command, uh, scroll down. And uh, let's take a look uh, at uh, some of this uh, uh, tablet synthesizer. Uh, what we have here is a map for the whole tablet surface, and that goes into finer and finer detail. Um, so here, uh, this section, you notice that we have uh, uh, different uh, subsections, and they all kind of explode out. Um, let's take a look at um, uh, where we are in respect to the hierarchy, this namespace. So I'll click on parent over here and we'll see here is our lineage uh, from tree, input, map, hi, and so on. Uh, but if I click on box, we'll see that all of a sudden we have um, this blue arc coming in. So this is coming from somewhere else in the namespace. And if we click on that, we'll notice that uh, here we are. Um, this is actually being called from an iPhone screen. And uh, when that happens, the iPhone screen part of the namespace calls out um, to this part, um, which is box. So this is a way of looking at uh, where your code is being called from, uh, from a different part of the namespace. So let's go back to uh, the root node here and explore what, uh, say, the application uh, may do and how we can explore um, the interrelationships of uh, what's being done. So let's go to, say, the main do uh, and scene. Um, what is going to be... Uh, find, where is scene? Uh, oh, okay. And we'll see that there are several different scenes here. Um, I can just click on children to highlight uh, what the children scenes happen to be. And uh, uh, let's say that uh, I want to explore Picasso. And we'll see there's a series of blue arcs and green arcs. The blue arcs are all these calls out to uh, um, either C++ code uh, or Objective-C code. Um, the green arcs um, are what is observing to become into context. So when you're hitting the menu key and the five key, it brings Picasso into context, and then that makes uh, Picasso call out uh, all these uh, uh, other uh, parts of um, the code. Um, it's curious that uh, the uh, the key five actually also is mapping to somewhere else. It's it's uh, calling into this other uh, scene called Marais. So I'll control click on Marais and then hit the space bar to see what the differences between the two happen to be. Now we see that they make some calls into uh, some uh, shared um, API calls. Um, so by um, basically just comparing between two different parts of the ontology, we're able to explore you know, what parts of your API are, are being called from different kinds of events. So let's take a look at Picasso now um, as uh, where its role is within um, the ontology as a whole. So here is, uh, you know, where its parent is, here is what calls out it's making, and here are the calls coming in uh, as to bringing into context. Um, so we could actually expand out the depth to one additional degree of interest to uh, expand outwards as to uh, what's going on. It's a little bit confusing on its own, so what we'll do is we'll enable uh, some clustering based on Newman's algorithm. Uh, which is basically the number of arcs coming in and going out. And we can change the community slider so that it could be either fine-grained as to um, have a priority as to uh, 
small number of arcs or expand it out to a larger number of arcs. Uh, and if we want to, we could go crazy and expand it out even f further. So this is a way of taking any particular node within your ontology. Okay, so here we have Mary and Picasso both still um, highlighted, and I can hit the space bar and still see uh, within the relationships between those particular nodes of the ontology.